Now let's start configuring uh, Cucumber with Cypress. So what you need to do is you need to go to this uh, docs.cypress.io uh, plugin uh, website and over here uh, just search for Cucumber. So you're gonna find a Cucumber plugin. So if you click on this, it's a detailed documentation and some of the examples as well covered over here, which you can refer. But I mean, uh, the configuration uh, of basic Cucumber JS that you may have seen in the previous lectures and configuring this plugin is little different. Rest, if we talk about creating feature files, adding step definitions, all those process remain same. But uh, before you are actually going through this uh, Cucumber lecture, before you go through this lecture, I would really recommend you to watch the basic Cucumber JS lectures if you are not familiar with how Cucumber works. And also I want you to follow the page object approach that we have seen in the previous section. So that is very, very important because uh, later on we'll be integrating those page objects with Cucumber itself, right? So we are actually going to uh, going to create a project which will have a Cucumber step definition and in that we will be uh, reading uh, the stuff from our page objects itself, right? So let's see first the basic installation. If you go down, you're gonna see that uh, this is the node package that you actually need to install with uh, hyphen hyphen save dev dependency. So go over here and paste this. And then this will gonna take a few seconds and we're gonna install the dependency. So some of the dependencies are deprecated, but uh, you should not worry about it. Uh, just leave these deprecated messages as it is. All right. So once it is added, uh, you're gonna see this the Cypress Cucumber preprocessor added uh, to your dev dependencies over here. Next, let's go back to that documentation and there are some additional configuration that you need to do is inside your Cypress configuration uh, under the Cypress plugin index.js, you need to add these statements. So if we go to Cypress plugin index chairs. So here we need to add this information, right? And then uh, after this, uh, in your support file, you need to add this attribute for test files because this is what is actually going to read your feature files. So if this property is not there, then your feature files will not be read. So this, you need to do it inside your Cypress JSON. So go to your Cypress JSON file and uh, somewhere over here, put a comma and paste this. That's it. So let's see what else is pending. And this is the final configuration that uh, you need to add in your package JSON files, right? So go over here. Go to your package JSON and then put a comma and paste this. And that's it. We are done uh, with the successful configuration of uh, Cucumber. And now we can uh, start creating our very first uh, feature file and uh, then we'll start adding the step definition. But again, uh, before we start uh, directly creating the features, there are some rules that we may need to follow. The rules are uh, we need to create our feature file directly inside this integration folder. So if I right click over here, I can create a new file and uh, the file with the name, let's say I want to create a feature for uh, bank manager login, right? So I'm simply gonna say bank manager login dot 
feature. So this should be directly inside uh, the integration folder. And whatever name that we have given to our feature, we need to create a folder with the same name. So this should be bank manager login. And our spec definition should come inside this particular folder. So spec definition, you can give any name. So I'm gonna name it as, uh, let's say, login as bank manager dot spec dot js. Right, so you can see I'm getting a warning that uh, I've added a feature file and there is an extension uh, that I may install from the marketplace because when I start writing the feature, I'm not gonna get color uh, coding, right? Uh, for the for the uh, steps that I'm going to write in the feature file. So this is uh, uh, something very interesting that uh, you can install, especially from the marketplace. Uh, you can go over here and uh, search for uh, cucumber. Okay, it's not the marketplace. Let's see the marketplace. You need to go to extension and then search for Cucumber. So this is the plugin that you should be installing. So once you install it, uh, you should start getting the color code once you write the feature file. As in if I uh, go back to the Explorer now, let me close this. Let me open the feature file this so uh, the very first thing in uh, the feature file once uh, when we start writing the feature we generally define feature you can see i'm getting suggestions as well over here right this you may uh, not get if you don't have this uh, plugin installed so i'm going to say feature and you can see feature name and feature description i'm getting it over here so feature name let's say is bank manager login and feature description i'm going to give as uh, let's say i want to log in as bank manager right and after this i'm going to write my scenario so i'm going to say scenario and the scenario name login as bank manager and then I'm going to write my jerkin keywords that is given, uh, given, let's say I navigate to the website. When I click on bank manager login button and validate page uh, validate the page title something like this right like like a simple feature we we're just taking a random example right and we're gonna see how the implementation actually takes place so in case uh, you make any mistake or the the formatting is not correct then you can right click over here and say format document and everything will be aligned properly right so this is what the benefit of that particular plugin is now after adding this uh, we'll directly jump into our spec definition and we'll start writing uh, the spec definition the jerking code uh, over here as in uh, whatever the code the 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 steps we have written the jerking steps we need to map it with uh, the code so that uh, whenever you call it, it should actually gonna perform all those tasks, right? So that is what integration we're gonna take a look, but we're gonna take a look at that part in the next lecture. All right, so that's all in this lecture. We're gonna meet in next lecture and we're gonna see uh, adding of step definitions and then we're gonna integrate page objects in those step definition and then we're gonna see how we're gonna execute them. All right, thank you.